Good morning, it is currently Monday and I got up this morning, took one look at our fruit basket and noticed that our bananas were past their best. So I thought I would make a banana loaf. <laughs> So that's what I've done this morning and it's currently 8.39 and I think it's about done. But you never really know with banana loaf because it always looks done, stick something in the middle and it isn't. So I'm gonna just make sure. I need to get a, um, a proper cake tester. I did used to have one, but I think I lost it in the old house and I've not seen it since. Also, I'm getting myself a flipping cold sore. I actually posted on my Instagram, I wanna say like last month, saying like, does anyone have any advice for if you get cold sores repeatedly all the time? All I have to ever do is have a bit of dry skin, pick it off and I get a cold sore, or accidentally bite my lip and I get a cold sore, or get slightly run down and I get a cold sore, get a little bit stressed and I get a cold sore. If I'm tired, I get a cold sore. Basically, Anytime I'm not at like 90% or above, I get a cold sore and it's so annoying. Right, I'm gonna get this out of the oven and see if it's done. Also, I haven't done my makeup yet, but that's because I kind of wanted to film doing it. It's not, um, it's not come out completely clean. But I think that's just moist cake-ness. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, the oven. Oh, the oven's still on. Maybe I'll just give it like two more minutes, but then you don't want it to be dry. By the way, if any of you are like baking fanatics um, and you don't follow Cupcake Gemma on Instagram or on YouTube, then you should be. She sent me these. They're so cool, aren't they? Thank you, Gemma. I love them. Oh my God, I can't even tell you how good this banana loaf tastes tastes, <laughs> smells. The banana loaf recipe that I used, I'll link in the description box. It's the Mary Berry one. Oh, I just realized I've got cake mix on my book. Oh, it's butter. Oh well. <laughs> um, it's the Mary Berry banana loaf recipe and it's the one that has chocolate chips in. I'm sorry, I just love a banana bread with chocolate chips in. I know it's not the healthiest banana bread, but it is the best. And I doubled the recipe because it makes quite a small banana loaf, that one. So I doubled it. And as well as the chocolate chips, I also added in a whole bar of Milky Bar, white chocolate. And each chunk of chocolate I broke in half, so it was like a smaller chunk, but it's gonna be a very unhealthy, very delicious banana bread. <laughs> Look at that. It always says to line the loaf tin, but my God, lining a loaf tin in baking paper is impossible. I don't know how to do it. I can line the cake, round cake tins because you can buy those round. How the hell do you line that? <laughs> Any baking enthusiasts, please share because I tried to, I cut like a square and then I tried to like cut bits down here. It just, it was really bad. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get that out because I didn't use baking tray. Baking tray, baking sheet, but I did use a lot of butter. So hopefully it's like greasy enough. So I'm back in my spare room and I thought I would record doing my makeup again because I really enjoyed doing that the other day. I've already got my moisturizer on. Going in with my Last Imperfection Concealer this is the, is this in fair? Yeah. So on days where I don't have as much time to do my makeup, I kind of just cover my face in concealer. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Bourjois um, Radiance Reveal. This is lovely to brighten under your eyes. Oh, I'm never too shy with the uh, under eye concealer. <laughs> And then I'm gonna use a bit of the Lasting Perfection in the shade Medium Cool, which is a bit darker. Um, yeah, as I was saying, if I don't have as long to do my makeup, I'll kind of just chuck a load of concealer on, like this, and I'll get my Bare Minerals foundation. I use the shade Fairly Medium. I'm, I'm not really Fairly Medium right now. I'm more like see-through. And then I swirl my brush in there. give it a little tap and then I literally just like blend it. <laughs> it 
it's definitely not how you're supposed to use it. <laughs> I don't think, because you're kind of blending powder over a lot of liquid. But I find this a really quick way of blending out the concealer, but also just giving my face like a bit more of a healthy glow. Fun fact, Bare Minerals was the first proper foundation I ever wore. Me and my mum saw it on the QVC channel when I was 16. Before that, I didn't really wear foundation. We weren't allowed to wear makeup in our school, so I think I probably just put a little bit of concealer on and a bit of mascara maybe. But then, when I entered sixth form, it was all about the Bare Minerals. And my mum bought some too. I loved it. I've been using it ever since. I feel like in a lot of people's case, they probably would use like a BB cream or a CC cream instead of that. But I just, things like that go very greasy on me. Um, so I much prefer a powder because I just feel like it lasts a lot, lot longer. I'm gonna do a little bit of Clarins bronzer. This is the limited edition bronzing and blush compact. I am a sucker for these. Every year they bring out ones like this. And I just, I love them. So what should I do with my, ah, oh, there it is. wet my brush is wet I need to clean my brushes there we go a little bit of bronze um, now I'm going to use my Zoella X Colourpop um, brunch date pressed powder this is the blush and it's called soulmate it's very pretty go in with a light hand though because it's also very pigmented <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of this on because I don't have my Colourpop highlighter here. It's the MAC Dazzle. Dazzle MAC Highlighter. And it's this shade, it's Dazzle Pink. Although this is very glittery, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I want much of that. I do. Just a little bit. Eyebrows. Um, the Anastasia dip brow pomade the shade i use is medium brown fyi and then i just go in with a little angle brush i'm gonna have to get closer to my mirror for this look how much easier it is for me to do my eyebrows now i've had them threaded honestly what did i do before threading well i butchered my eyebrows is what i did <laughs> <laughs> and it's taken me so long to grow them back I was gonna ask actually does anyone think like sperm brows are gonna make a comeback like really thin like 90s brows that would be annoying after we've all grown them back wouldn't it oh my god my whole house smells of banana cake and I really want to eat some I really don't need to fill them in too much when I get them threaded and um tinted eyeshadow so I thought, because it's a colour that I know a lot of you were a bit scared of in the palette, not scared of, in fact it's so funny, it's like you either think, oh my god I'd never use that, or so many people are so excited to use it, um, the electric blue, I'm going to use that today, and I'm going to show you what I do, oh I need to get my blue, I've got, I've got eyeshadow, eyeshadow brushes that are specifically for this blue eyeshadow so as you're watching this the collection is available so feel free to check the link in the description box and um see what you fancy um okay so the color brunch club i pack it on with a normal shadow brush You can get varying intensities of the blue. If you just want a wash of colour, then you don't need to pack it on as much. I like it quite, I like it quite intense. You don't have to be too neat at this stage either because I'm aware I look a bit like a clown right now. 
it also might be wise to start on your eyes and then do your skin after depending on how messy you are with your eyeshadow um, I then take it underneath but again you don't have to um, on the photo shoot we didn't we just kept it on top but I like mine quite smoky so I like to take it underneath okay now you've done this time to blend 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 now I have blended I am going to use where's my liquid eyeliner I'm using the Dior liquid eyeliner and I'm just gonna go and do a little cat eye on top like so now using the xoxo black gel cream liner i'm just going to smoke a little bit along the lash line now for mascara i'm using the marc jacobs velvet noir major volume mascara i feel like mascara is what really finishes this off btw <laughs> Right. What towel? No, do you not remember? It got really wet, so I put it over the bath to dry. I'm in here. In the spare room. Why? I'm doing my makeup. I'm here. Yeah. What the bloody are you doing in here? It's the best light. When have you ever done your makeup in here? I did it in here the other day and I really liked it. Because <laughs> I can put my camera on the windowsill. I mean, could we don't own any tripods, do we? I've got it on a tripod, but it's just really right. easy. I'm going to get in the shower. Okay. I'm can you smell minutes. the banana bread? I literally can't believe that you've already been baking. That's insane. Right, I'm using the Little One Liner. Which looks nice on its own but i am going to put the little one um liquid lip on too because i wore the other one in the other video so i thought it would be nice to wear the nude in this one uh over my scabby lip <laughs> good job i'm the only one using this right so there you go i ain't a professional makeup artist but that doesn't mean I can't play around like everyone else with a bit of colour. Also freaking love this lip. Also got a snotty nose. Okay, so there you go. Blue. If I could do it, you could do it. And I always thought you couldn't really do blue eyeshadow with blue eyes because like clash. But that's rubbish because you can. Because I have. <laughs> And if I have, then that means that, that, that that's the rule. <laughs> Bit of fix plus. We want the makeup to last all day. Happy with that. Made a mess, but happy with that. I know that lots of you were keen to know how I did it. So I hope you enjoyed that. And now we have Dave coming over because he is our friend, but he is also our business advisor. So we like to have monthly meetings where we talk about the team and like things that we could be doing differently because I don't know if you've noticed, but um, we have to manage people. So that's something I never learned in school. <laughs> um, and Dave's amazing at uh, giving us really great advice in all areas of things that aren't the oh which aren't necessarily the side of what we do that is kind of 
more well known or something you can just learn um so yeah that's what we're doing this morning who's texted me that was a whatsapp message that was oh okay this is a more accurate representation of the colors on my face rather than the sun bleaching out right let's hope alfie's ready nipped into the office quickly for some catch-ups just going through all the lovely coverage that everyone is giving for the ColourPop stuff, which is so exciting because it's not even out yet. There's some great makeup looks, which kind of puts mine to shame, but that's fine. Some people are better at it than others. <laughs> and now I've ordered myself some lunch from my favorite place in the world. And I'm gonna head back and carry on doing some bits and pieces from home. Right, I'm home now, I've eaten my lunch and I just fancied a bath. I felt really like cold and like I wanted to get into my cosies. But before I did that, I thought I'm gonna have a little bath and I've got bubbles in it and I was just throwing them at Nala. So I wanted to show you what she was like. It's so flipping cute. Ready? <gasps> Steady? <laughs> <laughs> Ready, steady. <laughs> Ready, steady. <laughs> Ready, steady. <laughs> I'm not sure you should be eating it. <laughs> You're so cute! You've got bubbles all over you! This looks delightful, got myself a Diet Coke. Can't wait! Good evening everybody, it is now... Ooh. Oh no, I've got the dreaded... The dreaded camera lens is stuck when I open it. It's not time for a new camera yet. Don't do this to me. It's currently Wednesday evening um, and I haven't vlogged since Monday. But I've been busy sorting out everything for the Zoel X Colourpop launch, which is the basically what I've been speaking about for like the last week. <laughs> um, and it's just gone live and I really just wanted to vlog the fact it's just gone live because it's been so exciting it's very blue in here that's better um yeah it's been so so exciting so it went live an hour and a half ago available on the ColourPop website as i've said before i'll leave a link down below so you guys can go and check it out if you're watching this and this is your reminder and you don't follow me anywhere on like instagram or anything the response has been so incredible my instagram comments are full there's like that at the moment there is 1073 comments of everyone telling me what they have ordered and it's so nice and i just received a really lovely comment and i wanted to share it with you because it really resonated with me personally in some way so um someone put i just grabbed the whole pr package super excited sad to say i'm 24 and this is the first makeup i've ever purchased lol couldn't just pass, could have just couldn't pass it up. Great branding as always, Zoe. And I was like, I love that. And there's so many people commenting saying, I don't feel very confident with makeup and I've ordered something. Stop it. Alfie's being very rude in the background. Not in a nasty way, in a slightly naked way. Alfie! <laughs> I'm having a moment. Um and people who um you know aren't the most confident with makeup or or who look at kind of your everyday makeup user and kind of stop you're really putting me off i don't know what i'm saying and it kind of resonated with me because i know i'm not some highly skilled amazing makeup artist that doesn't mean i don't love makeup and there are so many people who don't feel like they're worthy of like experimenting or buying makeup but there's a reason so many of us love makeup and it doesn't matter if like you can cut your crease or you you know you're like super at contouring because 
it's not about that it's about how it makes you feel and being creative and that excitement you feel when you go out and buy a new lipstick and what it makes you feel like when you've got it on regardless of how well you've applied it because that's not really in my mind that's not really what makeup is about for me it's about the excitement of using it and you know experimenting and watching a tutorial and thinking oh I might try that I mean I might not be very good but I might give it a try and that's basically all I've ever done I've never been to like makeup school I've never trained as a makeup artist I've just bought things I've loved and had a lot of fun with it and it makes me so happy that so many of you are doing this with this collection because yeah they're not the most extreme colors but they are still like in a lot of people's comfort zone hey stop licking um and for a lot of people that's encouraged them to buy makeup for the first time and i just think that's so nice because they'll get it and they'll get that like joy of experimenting with it and um that is what made me get into makeup was watching everyday people like me buying makeup and trying it and like um just having fun with it and i just love that so yeah really cool and i'm very happy so many of you are loving it look at this dog why are you like this <laughs> um yeah let me know in the comments of this video what you ordered it may have arrived by the time you're watching this i have no idea but um yeah thanks so much to everybody who supported me and ordered something and i'm so so pleased you're all so excited and now myself and alfie are going bouldering <laughs> with Steve, Alexia and Morgan and my socks are oh the coolest thing God. in the world. If you are a 90s kid, you know what these socks are. Only the best thing ever. <laughs> I haven't been bouldering in a long time. I don't even really think I'm that good at it because I don't have a fear of heights but I have a fear of falling from a height and to me I know I could get higher but when I get quite high on the wall I panic a bit that I might fall and then it's a really high drop and I'm not very good at falling safely I would definitely try and land on my um, ankles so oh. we need a um, bottle to fill up with water oh to stay hydrated, yeah? What do I do about a bag? Or do I not really take one? Do people take bags bouldering? What do I do with my blister plasters? Where do I put my blister plasters and my phone then? Um, in the locker. Okay. Zoe's starting off with a 1C. Uh, two, okay, two, two B. That's a good one, right? So both hands. Yeah, yeah so, so you start being here, and then obviously you can have your foot on there, and you've got these two over there. There you go. Yes! And then your aim is to get your hand up there, on that red that's one. That's quite a good one, because it's not too high finish. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> go on. No, go on, you got <laughs> you got you were one, one away. No, that's horrible, because you have to go sideways. I don't like that. Look. You're just going to cry now. Hi, guys. Back from bouldering. This is a really flattering angle, but I can't. You bold. chose to film. My it. arms hurt. You said it as if someone else is filming you. Oh, my arms hurt. I don't want to hold the camera out. Oh, how proud are you of me? Very proud. Mm -hmm. I did some good ones at the end. Felt a little bit unconfident at first. I think I may have been cupping my balls and dick when you filmed me just then. Oh. Cool. Fun. <laughs> um, yes, fun. It was a lot of fun, but my ha oh, <laughs> my hands really hurt now. And also, I my arms hurt. Like if you were doing that solidly, climbing, climbing, climbing for an hour, because obviously we had moments where we sat down and had a break. Did you just bite your lip? So hard. <gasps> Oh my it god, it's bleeding. A lot. Yeah. Mm. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Literally, you probably would have heard that in your camera. 
you just heard my teeth crunch through my lip. And Let me see. Oh, okay, it's not so bad. It's, it's only small, but it's a lot of blood for a small bite. Oh my god. Bite. Um, yeah, it, That's if... That's gonna feel good on my Nando's sauce, isn't it? I just didn't really think about it being like a, a form of like exercise. <laughs> <laughs> What did you well, mainly because obviously I wasn't going to be doing it to the extreme that I just I didn't think I would be doing it to the point where it was exercise, if that makes sense. But yeah, my arms hurt, so I, so a great arm workout, something fun and a bit different to do instead of weights. I mean, when do you? I don't do weights. Do weight. I'm letting them know. <laughs> <laughs> It's something just different to what I normally do. No, just, I meant if you do weight, if they do nice weight. It's nice to just break it up. There's something else for me to do other than all my weights. You doing that to your shoulders just reminded me of something. Oh, come on now. What? My hands are tired. <laughs> you can't be saying that your hands are tired and then expect me. People are going to wonder what the hell you're talking about, unless you say. I owe Zoe half a massage. Half a massage, at least 10 minutes. I said that basically I owed Zoe a massage and then the other day I was incredibly tired so I said can I give you half a massage now and then half another time. Not tonight. I could try but... Surely your hands are now like all warmed up. What, do you feel like giving me a massage? No but this is the first time I've done it so it's hurting me more than normal. No, mine, mine I didn't use enough chalk, I was like guys I really don't think I'm going to need chalk like... I'm not really doing anything. Tell them where you put the chalk. Oh, it was liquid chalk and I rubbed it on my hands like a hand sanitizer, but that's not what you're supposed to do. So I had white all over the back, <laughs> all over the back and the front. You People must have thought it was like, around. bring my girlfriend to bouldering day. <laughs> you basically walked around being like, I've never been here before because of the back of your hands. Yeah, I gave it, I kind of made it really mm -hmm. obvious. Well, you bloody smashed it, like you actually did. I tried. I really First tried. First half an hour, you were scared to go past halfway, and then you just sent it, and then you. I reckon you did at least five climbs completed. Yeah, I did complete. I in the end, I wanted to make it my mission to complete them because I only like to go so far because of my fear of falling from a high bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was fun. So I'm gonna go to sleep now because I'm tired. Um, Alfie's put the big nasty show on, so I feel like this is going to be a really relaxing thing to watch before bed. <laughs> Have you spoken about how your product range is done? It's going so well, guys. It I'm so happy. Fast. Mostly, I'm just really happy. Like, I don't mind how many sells, but I'm mostly just really happy that there's so many excited people that are like sharing with me what they've purchased. I love Since that. Since wait until people start receiving them, then it'll be even that, better. Yeah, that's, that's the like bit the that excites bit. me. For sure. When you can see people's looks with it on. Yeah. Or people like, oh, I'm going out for uh, my first date with a new guy tonight. I'm wearing your eye. You know, oh. Your eye. You gotta imagine that would be sick. So cute. But yeah, I'm going to go to sleep now. Um, but it's weird because in LA, which is obviously where Colourpop is based, they're all still like at work. And here it's like half 11. So we're going to be going to sleep and they're still going to be... Hours, oh my right? God, I got almost got that so dead on. 11.31. 11.31. Um, so they're still going. So I kind of want to stay up and like chat to them about it, but... At the same time, I'm very tired <laughs> and I need to go to sleep at some point. I can't do an all-nighter just because there's And your arms are going to tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. Surely, Good night. Surely well, your arms used to from the weights you do. Yeah, I guess from all my weights. <laughs> night. Can you tell it's you? No one will realise that it's me. <laughs> I hate these glasses. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Do they make me look cool? No. See you in a minute. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Saturday to you. 
and you and you just currently sat in waitrose car park as you do putting a bit of peri peri drizzle in my hummus because the hummus and peri drizzle from nando's is the one i love it went out this morning for breakfast actually with sean poppy alexia steve and alfie and that was really nice we went to igg which is now called chard i think they half own the space now um so the restaurant's slightly different than it used to be but we had ricotta pancakes um don't get me wrong i love me a pancake but i think it was just the fact that it was ricotta they were very very light like you, they don't they didn't feel like stodgy pancakes which is nice and i loved that they had honeycomb in them but i'm i'm just not sure about them being made with ricotta i like quite a classic pancake me um but really nice to go out and see everybody this morning so that was really nice and then as we were leaving i just felt like i needed some like bread <laughs> so i got a nando's <laughs> i thought i was full but i just i don't think i was i think i needed bread and hummus and a burger and sides <laughs> to fill me up mm. and now the reason we're in waitrose car park is because we were near it and this particular waitrose which is the one we always used to go to when we lived like more around this area they do the sushi that alfie is obsessed with so as we were driving past he was like sushi. i'd love to know your nando's order in the comments please i'm a lemon and herb chicken gal i can't do medium spice i used to be able to do medium spice but then for some reason it got very very hot and i'm not very good at spicy things sometimes i'll go medium if i'm feeling wild oh here he comes oh my god what has he bought ice that's gonna melt in the car Oh, and you got your sushi? Got you some ketchup. Amazing. Thank you.